went through. He survived. I don't know how. I can't begin to imagine the strength it took. Continues to take. More than that, we got a first-hand look into the mind of a killer. Jiu-Jitsu is a system based around four distinct steps. You can add steps, you can subtract steps, but the, the rendition I'm going to give you now is probably, probably the most widely known. You're going to see always that step number one is take your opponent to the ground. The man who's 22 and 0, and there's the takedown. <laughs> and then we go met off. I'm like a dog. Sambo is uh, not just a grappling style, beautiful takedown. In this fight, second most in UFC history. See, Abel, like, 14. as Nurmagomedov's throwing him, Abel's throwing his arms up in the air like, well, oh, man. Oh, how about a reversal? That's what happens. He'll back up to his feet again and down again. I mean, this is, that was a mauling. And again, nice takedown, beautifully done by Nurmagomedov. Pat hit him with a good right to the body there. Number the off, gets it again. As if he's asking Mario Yamasaki to do something for him. Again, looking for that guillotine. Trips him to the ground. He's behind him, holding on to him. Throwing him around at will. Grab the fence, I'm gonna take a point from you. Warned about grabbing the fence with Trip Trujillo. Tripped him down again. Trujillo trying to roll out of it, but Nurmagomedov just... Nurmagomedov absolutely out wow. grappling him. He's against the uh, four-time NAIA All-American Collegiate Wrestling. At this point in the game, he, he might not have the energy, Gomedov, good use of the butterfly's headgear and with uh, a, a judo gi. Going, going for a ride. Fence. Whenever Nurmagomedov gets a hold of Trujillo, it becomes a grappling competition. And again, down to the ground again. So step number one of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is get it to the ground. It's inherently safer, less things can go catastrophically wrong on the ground than in the standing position. Right. Legs are dangerous. So step number two is get past those dangerous legs. Step number three. Go for submission. No? He must be a 10th planet black belt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I had to throw that in somewhere, Joe, I'm an asshole. You're Try. gonna work your way through a hierarchy of positions. Yes. You're gonna go knee on belly, you're gonna go side control, you're gonna transition to mount, you're gonna transition to rear mount. Depending upon my game. Yeah. There's a sequence of, of pins once you get past your opponent's legs and jiu-jitsu encourages you to go through those various pins. If you look at the sport of Jiu-Jitsu, the pins score different amounts of points. Neon belly scores a certain amount. Mount position scores more. Rear mount scores more. Why? Ever wondered about that? Every one of the pins of Jiu-Jitsu, the value of it is measured by your potential to strike your opponent on the ground.
step number four. Attack with a submission. Correct. <laughs>